सेफ्टी क्रिटिकल कोडिंग एंड टेस्टिंग ट्रेंड्स दिस इज द पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन बाय पॉल एंडरसन एंड आई डाउनलोडेड इट फ्रॉम इंटरनेट बट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस सेफ्टी क्रिटिकल कोडिंग एंड ऑल्सो द टेस्टिंग ट्रेंड्स सो वॉट वी से वेन वी टॉक अबाउट गुड टेस्टिंग एंड स्टैंडर्ड्स टू बी फॉलोड फॉर अ सॉफ्टवेयर you know the high confidence software is difficult to validate since it the risk of failure is very high and most software contain flaw every software ha- contains flaw which are either uh, you know perceivable or they are hidden and there are two approaches for this first is to use coding standards to streamline development or use advanced static analysis tools to find flaws early these are the two approaches now as an example or you know as a starter once it happened on 1st january 2009 that microsoft zune player it's freezed it stopped working so until this problem came you know it was never being surfaced before that and when it came that the zoom player suddenly stopped so these are this was the bug which was lying there the soft, the zoom was playing well but this was the bug and it was there already so how to cope up with that you know the system should last and where li- where uh, the lives are involved or where uh, you know a lot of money is involved there are certain things which need to be taken care early so coding standards what are they they address several practices like what will be the layout what will be the naming the syntactic restrictions the semantic guidelines and the process as we are going to discuss a um, few of them in the later slides but uh, for example layout what does it mean the spaces will not be used around dot and this arrow you know a hyphen and arrow the naming different identifier should be typographically unambiguous you know you cannot use two identifiers with caps with small under uh, under score here and there so it should be unambiguous and uh, syntactic restrictions brackets and parentheses in macros must be balanced if you lose one then the problem may come or it will come in future also the semantic guidelines the coding standards this also address that do not use dynamic memory allocation after initialization and the process says that compile with all warning enabled and use source code analyzers this will be talked more in this presentation so what are the you know safety critical coding standards you know you need to uh, stress upon and view this very critically this safety critical coding standards where the safety is involved where the lives are involved money is involved with that i was referring to like motor industry now in motor industry you have to have a very reliable software very efficient software very safe software so we have misra c c++ this is Mo- misra stands for m for motor then industry software reliability association and this was the rule first introduced in 1998 it was revised in 2004 and it has then 141 rules uh, for c and for to cover c++ it was revised in 2008 and mostly taken from jsf rules which i will be talking about so around 228 rules are there so this misra c c++ is widely used in motor vehicle industry some support uh, in popular embedded compilers and this is a closed standard you don't know what is inside the jsf again fighter air vehicle again the safety is required so joint strike fighter air vehicle standard which was introduced in 2005 there are 232 rules for c and c++ and some are based on misra c it's not widely used yet due to low uptake of c++ for safety critical since c is very prominent till date and this is an open standard 
and talking about EC this is a subset of ISOC and it was introduced in 2003 by Les Hatton designed to be measurement based it is an open standard also we have neutrino embedded C coding standard it has much overlap with the MISRA C but not but uh, it is uh, not as um, uh, you know stringent it is more liberal than that and rules biased towards enforceability means enforcing of the rules are very important it is also a closed standard then coming to JPL power of 10 this was Gerard Holzman's and JPL stands for Jet Propulsion Laboratory NASA's it was introduced in 2006 it has 23 distinct rules and it was intended as a minimum set of most important rules you know there are so many rules take uh, the important ones and make a minimum and enforce it and design designed to leverage automation adopted by JPL jet proportion laboratory for NASA NASA code and is the open standard so again coming to justification of uh, coding rules uh, we have one more slide for it what is justification of coding rules it gives a clarity it gives predict uh, predictability and simplicity what is clarity reducing the programmer confusion a construct may be perfectly unambiguous and well defined but may make code difficult to read and it says don't use go to statements it provides the clarity to the coding and what is the predictability it eliminates source of ambiguity it helps with portability it says do not use union types and simplicity making code simple keep the program simple help to reduce the cost of testing keep program available to analysis so it says no recursion keep it simple and the next one for justification is defense encourage defensive programming it is that fosters the mentality so switch statement shall be a well formed switch statement this is the defense of de defensive programming then what compliance is standard compliance aids portability so use IEEE floating point formats this is the compliance and the process compile with all warning enabled and use source code analyzer when you have all called uh, you know warnings enabled when you have everything what you have done in your ID integrated development environment I presume and I strongly uh, address this that there will be less bug to be tested and to be removed uh, so this process also says how code is developed and not about the code itself and performance nothing to do with the safety trivial forwarding function should be in line this is thought now coding standards i talked so much about coding standards you uh, up till now you will be if you are new to this uh, these things then you will understand oh i i need for good coding uh, standards for my software but there are critiques also people say why coding standard there are too many rules rules are ambiguous uh, by itself or they are uh, poorly defined and enforcement may not prove quality uh, but uh, rather they argue that they will uh, you know inject faults or conclusion based analyzing code after completion all this may happen they also say the critics also say that the automation is not yet uh, uh, you know available because while i'm talking this i have seen ldra testing and uh, this safety software then we have um, ibm rational rows so they are available uh, right now but still critics say that the automation is not uh, available the standards are closed and the critics again say that there are too many rules rules are ambiguous and these are the example these are the example uh, information enforcement may not improve the quality poor support for automation these are the example to support is improving as I j just said and standards are closed so use power of 10 which is uh, open what is this uh, power of 10 this these are few rules use it enforce it and feel that your software is comfortable and will work everywhere easy for programmers to remember all the rules how can you remember 228 rules or more than that it has to be open standards so you should know what is inside 
and keeps the code simple, easy for human to understand, easy for machine to manipulate and analyze. So it's just not static analysis, but more than that, that is test case generation as well. And leverage automation as much as possible. So infeasible to manually scan for violation otherwise, but bias codes towards analyzability. Rule 10 is compile with all warning enabled and use source code analyzer that is advanced static analysis tools. So advanced static analysis testing, what it says, find serious flaws by examining the program source code, go to the source code, see for the leaks, null pointer differencing, dereferencing and buffer overruns, race conditions, etc. No execution, so no test cases are required. Use symbolic execution to explore many paths through the program, not guaranteed to find all bugs. Low false positive rate, highly scalable because uh, this scalable, uh, it generates multiple um, you know line of codes and it's extensible also so com again saying compile with all warning enabled and use source code analyzers by source code analyzer, uh, analyzers we mean advanced static analysis tools so fix all issues raised in if they are technically false positive because not doing so may mass real problems too they may lie there so train programmers to write the tool by eliminating false positives by rewriting the code helps the tool and simplifies the code and when we are talking about this we come to violation detection tools also so it has what are the properties of this violation detector detection tool it has wide range of ability customizability should cope with extreme environments and false positive management and what are the recommendations for adoptions of coding standards Pick a coding standard and adopt it, whatever you choose. Use a wide spectrum violation detection tool, as I gener gener uh, just said, deploy this for regular scans and practice JPL rule 10. What is JPL rule 10? Have your warning always enabled. Be careful about interpreting rules. Use the rationale as a guide for rules with subjective element. Allow exceptions, discourage those for objective rules. Be consistent about enforcement. Just Knowing the rules is not impo important or knowing and saying, okay, this rule can be skipped. No, if you are following a rule, then you have to enforce it also. Extend the tools for new rules and don't neglect manual reviews through testing. This is very important. Everywhere human intervention is uh, inevitable. And what are the conclusions of this? Safety critical coding new standards are becoming more popular despite doubt, despite wide, you know, we have wide consensus, um, following, not following, keys to success for all those, though lack of uh, automation is there. Then advanced static analysis testing tools now are the best practice for finding serious defects early in the development processes and for detecting violations of coding standards. So you you can use both of them use safety critical coding standard or advanced static analysis testing tool you use both of you them you will be getting maximum benefit and these are the references and the basic ppt is from paul anderson thank you so much take care